Hey guys, Joe here with another surprise edition of the How to Win With Every Pokemon series episode. I wasn't expecting to do this episode today, but I had a little bit of free time and uh, I got it done. And wow, this was a really, really fun one. Um, just wait for the end. It's it's crazy. Um, this is probably one of my like favorite battles that I've done. Um, as always, I have to say sorry for the voice. I was cleaning with some chemicals yesterday at work. And my voice is just really, really raspy from it. Um, it really like has messed up my breathing a little bit. So another day or two, and I should be fine. But uh, and that's also why I haven't been talking too much in a Dragon Quest stream because my voice is just really like sore. And the more I talk, the less I'm able to breathe, and it it gets a little bit hard. But we're gonna narrate this video no less because this was a really, really good one. I'll break down the sets again. And uh, man, I I cheered after this game. Um, so out comes my muck, and uh, out comes this Gengar. So we got dual poison types right off the bat. This is Ubers, by the way. So he goes for the Confuse Ray. I go for the Dark Pulse. This is a special attacking choice specs muck. Um, so he withdraws his Gengar. He doesn't want to lose it early on. I hurt myself in a Confusion Air, and out comes the Blaziken. So I switch out because I knew I didn't have much to do with it, and out, I send him my Dugong. So Thick Fat's going to reduce that to just regular damage, and he's going to get his first Speed Boost. He goes for the Protect here. And uh, I go for the fake out. Um, I, I don't think he was predicting that. I think he was just going for the speed boost. Um, he goes for protect again here, the douchebag protect. It doesn't work. I go for the waterfall and that's blazing him down. Um, a physical attacking uh, Dugong as well. We'll break down these sets later. So out comes Tracing against Thick Fat. So that kind of sucks because I'm running Avalanche on this set. And now he's going to resist um, my Avalanche. Um, and so that, that sucks. Um, that would have been... A nice amount of damage. So I switch back to my Muck as Energy Ball. I was afraid he had Psychic here, but he doesn't. He goes for Dream Eater. I'm not too sure what that move was, but I appreciate it. Sludge Bomb is going to wipe out Gardevoir. So out comes Tyranitar. Tyranitar posed a lot of problems for me in this team. Um, so I swap out. I send out my Shelter. Um, he sets up Stealth Rock. Um, <clears throat> so he goes for the Thunder Punch. Nice, interesting move on Tyranitar. I go for the Clamp. I got a critical hit. Um, there's a lot of critical hits in this battle, but Sandstorm's raging, so I'm going to be taking damage. This is an Evolite set, obviously. Um, Thunder Punch again, and I got fucking paralyzed. So, uh, that sucks. I get Toxic out. I'm buffeted by the Sandstorm again. So he's get, taking Clamp and Toxic damage. That's going to start building up real quick. I go for the Protect. Uh, he goes for Thunder Punch again. I'm wondering if, um, oh, it was Leftovers on Tyranitar. Um, so he's down to a good chunk of health, and Thunder Punch is going to come and beat me. Um, so that's unfortunate. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what I was thinking with this next move. Uh, I <laughs> actually noticed this isn't it yet. I go for Muck. He goes for the Earthquake. That takes me out. I was almost sure he was going to go for the Thunder Punch, but good move there with Earthquake. Um, and then I send out my Dodrio, and this is a really unfortunate moment. Um, I go for the Knockoff. It doesn't fucking kill it. I figured even though it was resisted, it would take it. I, I would be able to knock it out, and the Thunder Punch is going to come and just destroy me. Fortunately, Tyranitar goes down to uh, Poison as well. So now it's three all, even though it was just six three, and I had a huge advantage. But uh, so yeah, so Sceptar comes in. He's going to Mega Evolve. I saw that one coming a mile away. I go over to Fake Out. I get a crit again. So that does a nice chunk of damage. Um, I know I'm not going to be fast enough, so I just leave my Dugong in. Uh, I was hoping to go for a Sword Dance or something, and I won't. I could get the Avalanche out, but he already knew I had Avalanche, so he knew he had to take me out. So I come to Grandma, there's a car crash right outside my window just now. Um, that, that's crazy. So I go for the Infestation, this Infestation Toxic set, um, and he's going to go for the Dragon Pulse. I'm tempted to look out my window to see, um, but I'll, I'll finish now reading this. So this is a really bulky Grimer resting set. Um, I call it Resting Grime Face, and it makes sense considering that uh, Alola... Grimer was announced today and it looks pretty cool. Um, so Infestation is going to start running a ball of Grimer, not a Muck, because um, Muck is dead. And he keeps going for his, I get Sleep Talk Rest, of course, because, um, you know, that never happens, ever. Um, and Sceptile is going to start losing out to Infestation. I'm going to wake up, go for the rest again. Um, he starts playing Giga Drain moves to try to keep his health just high enough to not die from the Infestation here. Um, this is a little bit of a longer part of the battle. There's a lot of stally things on this team. So I'm down to Grimer and Seal, and I still have to take out Gengar. I still have to take out Mega Sceptile and Greninja. 
Um, things aren't looking really well for me right now, but I figured I'll upload this video anyway, regardless if I lost, because I, I did well with this team. Um, the infestation is really starting to run. It's tall now. Um, I know he's not going to be able to take me out. Um, I wake up here. I just go for the rest again just because I want to stay healthy for Gengar. Um, and the infestation is going to take Sceptile out, so that's nice. Um, so out comes Gengar, who took a ton of damage earlier. He goes for the Confuse race. So now I'm sleeping and confused. Um, I hurt myself in confusion here, of course. And uh, so I'm going to take a Shadow Ball here. That actually does a lot of damage to me. And um, I, I break through the confusion and I get Toxic off. Of course, Gengar's immune to Toxic, so that sucks. He's going to go for a Shadow Ball again. I'm going to wake up, go for a rest, and I hurt myself in confusion again. So my Grimer is down here. And it's all up to my seal to get through Greninja as well as Gengar. I come in and take the stealth rock damage, so that's going to hurt. Um, he explodes. It doesn't kill me. Um, I thought he, I think he thought that was going to break through. So I'm down to about half health here, and out comes Greninja. So he goes for Dark Pulse. Um, it doesn't really do too much. I could survive at least two more hits. So I go for the Attract, right? Um, he's in love with seal. He gets through, gets Dark Pulse again. I'm down to hardly any health. I flinch. Man. So he's in love with me. He gets immobilized by love. So Alpha's body slams a crit. I get to lucky paralysis here. So now he's attracted and paralyzed. And uh, he's going to get paralyzed there. Um, Water Pulse is going for the confusion here. Uh, he paralyzed again. Um, Water Pulse again. Another crit. Um, he's in love with me again. And... <laughs> I go for the War Pulse, doesn't kill it, and he's going to get immobilized by love again. So <laughs> out comes my seal, and my seal clutches the victory for me, and that was crazy. Um, this might be my favorite battle in the series. Just seal, so clutch. Um, so let's break down these sets. Um, so Dodrio was a Toxic Orb early bird set with Facade, Drill Peck, Knock Off, and Quick Attack, Max Attack, Max Speed, Adamant Nature. Seal was Evolite Thick Fat, Body Slam for Paralysis, Protect, Attract, and Water Pulse. So at the end of it, you have maybe like a 10% chance of attacking um, and breaking through all that if you get confused, attracted, and Body Slammed with the Paralysis. And I had Protect on there as well, just to like buy another turn. If you know, try to hope he attacks himself in confusion. So that's a max HP, max special defense, and that's a, um, a calm nature. So my Dugong was. Big Out, Drill Run, Avalanche, Waterfall, Expert Belt, Thick Fat, Max HP, Max Defense, and Adamant Nature. Grimer was Evolite with Stench, Infestation, Toxic, Rest, Sleep Talk, Max HP, Max uh, Special Defense, Calm Nature. Muck was Choice Specs with Stench, Dark Pulse, Flamethrower, Giga Drain, and Body Slam, Max HP, Max Special Attack, Modest Nature. And finally, Shoulder was Evolite with Shell Armor, Protect, Clamp, Explosion, and Toxic, Max Health and uh, max special defense, and that was running a lax nature. So yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy this battle. If you wanna uh, comment a theme team down below, you can do that. If you wanna challenge me, you can do that as well. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.